Welcome back New Zealand, Fiji, Australia and Mauritius. Please subscribe my channel and watch the complete video for Mauritius weather, Australia, New Zealand and Fiji. Thanks. First of all we look at New Zealand. Cold air aloft moves over the lower South Island this afternoon, bringing unstable conditions. There is also a moderate risk of a few thunderstorms about eastern Southland, Clutha and southern Dunedin late morning and early afternoon with brief heavy rain and small hail. Daytime heating will produce showers over parts of the central and southern North Island. During this afternoon, evening and tonight, there is a moderate risk of isolated thunderstorms about eastern Tomarunui. Southern Taupo, Taihape, Wanganui, northern Manawatu, Hawke's Bay Bout and south of SH5 and the Tararua district, and a low risk from southern Waikato to Wairarapa as indicated on the chart. These thunderstorms will produce localized heavy rain of 10-25mm h, along with a low risk that a few of the thunderstorms could be severe with localized downpours of 25-40mm h. However, for inland parts of Hawke's Bay south of SH5 and near the coast south of Hastings, the risk of severe thunderstorms with localized downpours of 25-40mm h is considered moderate and a thunderstorms watch is now in force. These downpours could occur with or without thunderstorms. If downpours of this intensity do occur, they could cause surface flooding and make driving conditions hazardous. For Australia, extensive convective activity spans the north of the continent, which is covered in mid to upper level cloud. This is being driven by a tropical low and a monsoon trough extending eastward through central parts of the Northern Territory, across the Cape York Peninsula and out into the Coral Sea. Mid to upper level cloud is streaming over Victoria, Tasmania and eastern New South Wales. Onshore flow is producing low-level cloud over parts of coastal New South Wales, southeast Queensland and southern Western Australia. The monsoon trough extends across the southern Gulf of Carpentaria coast, the base of Cape York Peninsula and into the Coral Sea and will continue to persist for several days. A weak tropical low lies on the monsoon trough in the northern Coral Sea well to the east of Cairns and will move east in the short term. From late Sunday or early next week this system may develop into a tropical cyclone and is forecast to assume a southwestward track towards the Queensland coast. However, there remains a high degree of uncertainty around the system's movements next week and a potential coastal crossing. A trough over inland southeastern Queensland will weaken over the weekend and drift a little westward as a weak ridge extends along the east coast, scattered to widespread showers, isolated thunderstorms and periods of rain in the far north and northwest. Scattered showers and thunderstorms elsewhere. Tending more isolated about the far southwest of the state. Severe thunderstorms likely with heavy rainfall and locally damaging winds in parts of the Maranoa and Warrego and possible more broadly in the central and southern interior, along with northwestern and far north Queensland. Localized heavy falls possible near the southeast Queensland coast north of the Gold Coast during the early morning. If we look at Indian Ocean, tropical cyclone Angrek is currently located to the west of the Cocos, Keeling, Islands and moving slowly northwest. Over the weekend, the most likely scenario is that Angrek will continue moving slowly to the northwest at tropical cyclone intensity. Angrek is likely to weaken to below tropical cyclone strength by Monday and could possibly move back to the east as a low. For Mauritius, several lows are evolving within the active monsoon trough located along 15 degrees south over the southwest Indian Ocean. One marked tropical low to the northeast of Rodriguez is likely to develop further by Sunday, the 21st of January. Model forecasts are indicating that the low will intensify further and move in between Rodriguez and Mauritius. Unstable atmospheric conditions are expected to establish in the region of Rodriguez as from Sunday the 21st of January, 2024, there are significant uncertainties in both the track and intensity of the system. For Fiji, occasional rain, heavy at times and few thunderstorms over the Northern Division, Lao and Lamavity groups, occasional showers, heavy at times and isolated thunderstorms over Yasawa and Mamanuka groups, the western parts of Vidi Levu, Sigatoka Nodalatoka Bia Tavu Arakaraki, and interior of Rabiana Droganavosa, elsewhere, cloudy periods with some showers and afternoon or evening, thunderstorms. Localized heavy falls may lead to flash flooding of low-lying and flood-prone areas, 